Hello and welcome Capricorn to your November 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we will do here, we will divide the video into sections. So it's a bit easier to understand, if that makes sense. And we will look at the overall energy for the month of November for the sign of Capricorn. Before we then look at your emotional core, which is about um, whether or not there's love coming in, or trauma can go, that kind of stuff. Before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of November. Now, a couple of things up front. Uh, number one, obviously November is the 11th month, and 11 is a master number. Same double digit numbers are called master numbers, and 11 is actually the highest of them, even though the higher number, like 22, 33, blah, blah, blah are sort of more washed down numbers, which means not quite as powerful. Ultimately, 11 is a super powerful number, which means that by default, um, November is a is a month that pretty much um, allows you to have a lot of drive and a lot of um, determination. So please use that. Um, downside is in November, we have a, a full moon that coincides with an eclipse. And um, that can lower the energy uh, quite a bit around the time of the full moon. Um, there will be a um, dedicated full moon video uh, on this channel. Like I said, please like, subscribe and share. And now with no further ado, my dear Capricorns, let's have a look what you got as the overall energy for the month of November. And you have two cards. You have trust, which is really powerful. And you have patience. Now, let me just show this to you. So you have trust and you have patience. So what the guides are asking you is to understand. Oh, bloody hell. There's another card. <laughs> Taking risks. I didn't see that when I shuffled it. In any case, um, what the guides are saying to you in the month of November. Remember, I just said what a powerful month this is when it comes to actually... Um, not only manifesting, but going after things. And what the guides are saying is just have some faith, if that makes sense. Trust that the things you really want can actually be manifested. What I'm getting here a lot with Capricorn um, has to do with one of your imprints, my dear Capricorns, because your star sign is associated with three different types of animals, namely the mountain goat, the sea goat, and actually the alligator. Um, and um, so, obviously, even, even the depiction of a mountain goat is not quite correct because you are actually associated with a race of, of sea goats, which means that the energy your sign is constantly given doesn't necessarily really reflect you. So what that translates into for Capricorns is that there is a part of you that may feel a bit insecure, uh, when it comes to, am I doing the right thing? You know, is my choice the right one? Uh, because people always sort of um, see you differently to what you actually are. Cut a long story short, you have trust. So what the guides are saying to you is, have some faith. Trust that things can be manifested. Now, now that we have three cards, the, the um, patience card, literally is the second then of the three, which means it's the one in the middle, the other two are charging it, which means the patience card is the most important. <clears throat> but because it is in the middle, to me it feels like patience is something that uh, you actually have had and that you needed to have, but now is the time where things are actually finally coming into fruition and you don't have to be super patient any longer. Um, and then you have to take risks. What that means is, once you have faith and you say, you know, uh, if that's how this works, you kind of feel, I've been waiting for something to happen and it hasn't quite happened yet. So if you, or if you did bite your time and it's not quite working, um, the outgoing energy or the outgoing card is you're taking risks. And remember, we're talking about your overall energy. So maybe what you were trying to manifest in the end is not as exciting as you thought it would be. And guess what? You don't have to do it just because in your mind you committed. 
So taking risks as the energy of the month with the number 11, with the master number, is basically telling you, yes, good on you. You, um, you, you did show patience. There are certain things that, that you really wanted and you sort of learned to probably nurture um, how you manifest. And I'm not saying at all that what you're manifesting isn't coming to fruition. What I'm saying is if you feel stuck, you can take risks. The advice would be, though, to take risks within the area of whatever it is you're actually trying to do. So it doesn't quite feel feasible for you to now all of a sudden do something completely different to what you had intended to do, if that makes sense. And it's all quite cryptic, the way the guides um, show this to me. Um, but that also has to do with the fact that you have free will. <clears throat> and so um, guys are probably trying to not override this. Okay, really, really important. Now, the interesting thing about this here <clears throat> is that what they're showing me in my mind's eye is like a film production. And, and this is really weird because um, you're not in front of the camera. This is more like, you know, you're a runner, if that makes sense. You're quite busy, but it is still a very menial job. <laughs> and all of a sudden in my vision, you're now that person that looks at continuity, if that makes sense, which means everybody looks at you and so like, are we still on track here, right? Did we wear this last week? It all seems very fantastic, if that makes sense. The point is, at this point in time, anything to do with being artistic works a lot. But because you, you, you have been the runner in my vision, um, and now you are the continuity person, if there is such a thing, um, you have skipped a few steps and you're now higher. The point is, as the continuity person, people will look at you to tell them what's what. And in the Capricorn energy for November, it is important that you don't just please others and that you do your thing regardless. So on a to cut a long story short, I have no idea, really. Um, I cannot really understand the imagery the guides give me. Unless you're a real runner, and then you will find yourself be, being the continuation, continuity person. I know it's all related. The point they're making is um, you have probably done some, some work where everything was quite frantic, which, which, which is obviously signified in, with the runner. And now you have a... Uh, a more important <clears throat> job coming up but that job requires you to be on the ball all the time so that's what i am getting from this imagery but what i'm also getting is that the continuity person ultimately can be replaced quite easily and quite readily provided that the folder that you have where all the continuation points um, are listed in uh, is given to someone else so you know you carry on uh, the baton, or whatever you call it. The point is, whatever you're doing in November, um, don't take yourself too seriously and understand that unless you really follow your own drum, your own voice, a lot of people, while they are in need of looking at you and understanding or needing your guidance, you're still just a person among many. And what I'm getting for, for Capricorns is to lead for a change, right? So this was probably the most cryptic um, over energy message I've ever got. So, but I only work here, so don't expect me to apologize <laughs> because my guides just say stuff because you know they have a, they have a reason, and, and I don't really think I don't get it. I just um, have to admit that the the um, the imagery is weird. Uh, but, um, you know, they will normally, well, they will always just give me what they feel I should get, if that makes sense. Anyway, when it comes to your emotional core in the month of November, uh, for the sign of Capricorn, you have blessings. Isn't that a beautiful card? And what the guides are saying to you, and this is quite, quite an interesting thing, what the guides are saying to you when it comes to your emotional core, you have learned quite a lot, but you have learned it through hard times and through pain. And 
And the blessing is that you are now beginning to understand what exactly it is you do no longer want and you do no longer accept. So the way I'm feeling this is, and it's both about relationships as well as trauma, it is time to let stuff go, it is time to release, and it is time to make yourself known and be heard. Uh, really, really important. Um, so because you have blessings, which means <clears throat> whatever it is you're, do you're doing this month will ultimately work and it will allow you to get much needed space, right? So that was that for your emotional core, not much to it. And then lastly, let's have a look at the um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of November 2022 for the sign of Capricorn. <laughs> okay. When it comes to opportunities, you have voyage. And it is interesting because, I don't know if you can see this, but there is a whale here. Can you see that? So, in the origin story of shamanic tribes, we come from the stars. We come from a place called the Pleiades, or the Pleiadians. And then um, when we decided we want to try out life on Earth, that makes sense. Um, there is the moon, which is our emotions, and then there is the south node and the north node. And if they wanted to meet, it would take them 26,000 years to meet. Now that is the time, shamanically speaking, that is believed that we will spend on this third rock of the sun. And then you divide it by whatever lifespan we have. And that sort of um, obviously uh, partly... Um, gives you the number of lives and obviously you, you go back just a couple of decades um, or maybe just a hundred years and people would die uh, um, of malnourishment and stuff um, you know um, a lot of really bad stuff happened uh, to people so a lot of people would die younger um, so the point is that it is hard to say how many years you got my guys always tell me we have 800 years if you divided these 26,000 just by, by, by 70, you would have about 340 lives. The point is, it's not about how many lives you have. It's about understanding that there is a whale in the depiction and there's no coincidence. Now the whale is our first mother because we came here, according to the shamanic origin, origin story, in a whale, in, in a cloud, in the shape of a whale. So the whale is our first mother. Now the whale is also the only mammal um, that has and has grown um, a specific limb just to deal with emotions, right? It's called a paralimbic lobe. The point they're making is we really are here, especially you Capricorn, because obviously this is your reading, so that it's directed at you at the moment. You really came here to understand the world emotionally. So when it comes to opportunities that come to you, what the guides are asking you is to go back, not in time, but go back into your emotions and, and remember how you want to feel. So when it comes to emotions, because there's a voyage here, which means you have to go forward. In other words, what I'm hearing is um, maybe it's time you did something more unexpected if that makes sense. And it sounds a bit kind of reductive to the, uh, to the way the overall energy was earlier, where they're saying is don't do something totally different. <coughs> but things change. <laughs> when it comes to opportunities, while I still, <coughs> excuse me, while I still don't feel that you need to do something completely unexpected, it feels to me that hanging about is the least uh, uh, um, successful thing you can try this very month. But because you have to wail, which means the universe really sees you, the universe really loves you, they're basically urging you to only do what makes you happy and don't think of it in financial terms or what, um, what benefits a certain position, for instance, could bring you. Right? It is not really about that. So, the way this feels to me, because of the, the whale and the frontal lobe and all these kind of things, um, Capricorn, your months will likely be quite emotional and you just have to pay attention to, to allow yourself to feel whatever you feel and carry this forward, okay? So now is the time I really have to apologize because um, when I sort of think back on all the readings I have done and um, this channel is over, it's about, it's about, I don't know, probably four or five years old now, 
Um, I have never had a more, a more cryptic reading ever. In any case, um, take it as it resonates. I hope it resonates at all, <laughs> because I only work here. In any case, that's all I got for uh, the sign of Capricorn for the month of November 2022. Signing off now. Please like, subscribe and share widely because it helps me grow the channel. Um, thank you so much. See you next time.